Thank you, Chairman, sir. <laughs> sir, uh, it's no, no, is a different issue. Sir, it's ironic that the amid, um, um, amid uh, raising unemployment in the country, uh, the government sector is overflowing with the vacancies, sir. As per the government data available, there are about 8 lakh vacancies in the central government and uh, including 1 lakh in armed forces and 2 lakh in railways, sir. Sir, there have been serious delays in uh, uh, delays which are occurring in uh, filling up the vacancies, which is totally not justifying. And government is not notifying the vacancies and conducting the examinations and declaring the result and for and completing the formalities in so far as uh, filling up the vacancies are concerned, sir. Sir, uh, delays in in the past, some of the delays have occurred caused by on account of exam paper exam leaks and litigations in the courts and all, sir. Collectively, all these, all these delays put together, pushing the annual cycle of recruitment to be, to be filled in two to three years' time, sir. That is, that is really causing a loss to the uh, right, uh, future yes, the There students. are two students. more people, same subject, combined. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. sir uh, I urge upon the, because when the students studies in the college, students study in the college, they, they'll have very brave, uh, fond hopes and then with a bright future and they would like to work in the central government and then uh, um, contribute to the growth right. and development of the country. And it causes huge disappointment when these delays occur on the part of the government, sir. So I urge upon the government to show some sensitivity towards this issue and take concrete steps. Right. In this Dr. Regard, v. Sivadasan, okay, thank you.